Decent road visit going to Kampala. This is okay. Yeah. Kampala. The improper disposal of garbage in the final collection point in Agwe Ward, Pekilaru Division in Gulu City, is imposing fear to locals residing in the neighborhood, particularly on their health. The delayed completion of the modern garbage recycling plan funded by KFW Bank stalled at 40% leading to improper disposal of the waste in the area, leaving heaps of rotting garbage, forcing authorities sometimes to burn the compiled garbage, polluting the air. At about 9 a.m., we rode to the final garbage collection point of all garbage from Gulu City, measuring approximately seven hectares, located in Agwe Ward, along the Peke Stream, approximately three kilometers from the heart of the city. Upon arrival at the landfill, one is welcomed by swamps of flies and bad odor from the compilation of unsorted garbage and the stagnant, dirty water that has been in the landfill for some time. Ojok Stephen, a resident of Boke Forest Ward in Gulu City, says he resides 50 meters from the land hosting a garbage collection point. Ojok also says the poor garbage disposal has not left his family the same. He says they live in fear because they are likely to contract diseases any time. <laughs> The smell from the rotten heaps of garbage is too much here. One day I was moving towards the landfill, I came across a sack that fell from the garbage and thought of taking it only to find a rotten dog in the sack. The smell and flies that normally come out of the garbage really makes our lives very difficult. To the extent that we cannot eat food freely and sometimes we stay under it even during day to avoid the flies. His experience is not much different from Francis's, who told us that he's lost a huge amount of money in treating family members. Most of the sicknesses that have affected his family are attributed to poor garbage disposal. I've spent a lot of money treating my wife from diarrhea that I believe might have been caused by the poor hygiene surrounding the landfill. She is getting better. Gulu City Health Inspector Lubanga Michael explains that both Francis and Stephen are indeed in danger for diseases as long as there's continued poor garbage disposal. Their hope lies in the newly planned garbage recycling plant. This is expected to ease disposal and poor sanitation. The landfill, landfill one, is a final destiny where uh, garbage is taken. And in such a place, it means that it is the final place where it should be. And it should be done uh, well in position that uh, they prevent, one, the leachate that comes out it from uh, reaching any water source. Two, in, in such a place, you realize that we do that to prevent uh, breeding of uh, majorly like flies that uh, arise out of garbage that is there. So you realize that people are uh, developed so closely to the landfill. So definitely they will have majorly flies and then uh, false smell that might come in certain seasons when uh, garbage is being managed. The proposed recycling plant has the capacity of 1,888 meter cubes of waste processing per day. This includes sorting of the waste, purifying water from the waste, and recycling of plastic. The construction of this plant has stalled at 40% as the first contractor abandoned sites due to inadequate funds. We want to improve our landfill. We are going to be sorting and then also the waste that is there, the composable is going to be buried. So in such a way, um, we, we shall be having 
uh, our contractor is going to work and we're going to create what we call cells where waste will be dumped after sorting and then it will be buried up so that uh, we should have a clean environment and also sorting uh, given that we pick out all the valuable materials, the plastics, majorly using the three R of um, recycling, um, reuse and uh, reducing the amount of waste. This has now been awarded to new contractors, SEEC Uganda Kenya Limited, for the completion of the project. This plant will cost up to a tune of 4.7 billion with a completion period of eight months.